What's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos. This is Steven. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance. Over today, we have two fragrances from Montal, Oudmazing, and Honey Aoud. Is it Aoud or is it Oud? And the A is silent. People say it's Oud, but I like to say Aoud because I've had several sales reps actually pronounce it Aoud. All right, so <laughs> Oudmazing and Honey Aoud. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning into BFL today. As always, I really do appreciate it and hope you're all doing fantastic. We're doing great. We're a little tipsy. Maybe, well, I am. I can't speak for you. <laughs> we had a wedding today. Congratulations to Rich and Bethany Scardaville. Congratulations, of course. Beautiful wedding in New Jersey at Nanina's in the Park. In Belleville, New Jersey, yeah. Yes, it was a lot fun. of fun. I missed the... Um, the fried galama. I missed the fried galama. The cocktail hour. Yeah, yes, of course. Because <laughs> I got there late. I had a little trouble waking up this morning. So, yeah. But it, I had a nice day and we had a nice time. And it's always nice spending time with your good friends. Yeah. Looking sharp and, you know. Dancing and pictures and the whole <laughs> nine. Yeah. On to the subject at hand. We have two Montal for you today. These were provided by Crystal Fragrances. It's an online fragrance location. Yeah. She's a really, really nice woman who is very generous and deserves to get some shout outs and some collaborations and we're very happy to do so. That is true, yeah. These are both two fragrances that we both enjoy, so it's always better to talk about fragrances that we love. I know. You know it's just <laughs> a little more excitement. And truth be told, Honey Aoud is one of those fragrances that I actually tried years ago and I always knew that I had an affinity for that scent mm -hmm. because I do like the smell of honey. I know sometimes it could come across, and I think you would agree with me, to be a little bit too powdery. Yes. In the case of this fragrance, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not to the degree of like a Back to Black by Killian. Right, that one goes completely powder bomb on me. Me too. Um, sorry, Killian. <laughs> just respecting <laughs> right your fragrances right on camera here, but you know we love you for the most part. That's just one that doesn't work for me. Yeah. So these came out a few years ago. Mm -hmm. They've been out for a while, it's not a new release by Montal. The nose is Pierre Montal, as we all know. Yeah. These both are very, very, really delicious fragrances in For different sure. ways. Oudmazing, I find it, well, it has notes of pear, it has fig, you love fig. A little bit of grape. Jasmine, leather, vanilla, oud. Oh my God, yeah. It leans a pinch feminine, but it's a really, really well done fragrance in my opinion. I had so much enjoyment when I wore it that day. Like uh -huh. everybody complimented me and I didn't have to respray. It okay. just lasted on my skin for pretty much the whole work day. And I love that when that happens, it doesn't happen too often, but here in this case, it really did. So I know that that one does have some unorthodox notes. It's not too often that we see the note of like grapes. grapes. In a, in a fragrance. I know sometimes we see wine in the case of like a bar, Baraonda, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even though that one has more of like a whiskey, cognac whiskey, thing. Yeah. But for me, it kind of reminds me of the smell of wine, kind of like a fermented grape. But I can see that one leaning a little bit fruity, in my opinion. But I do think ultimately it's the agarwood note that seems to pop out in this one. And that kind of levels it. And so I don't think it's overly feminine or masculine. I think it's kind of like a... A nice balance between the two, but I really do enjoy that one, especially for this time of the year. But I wouldn't like outright suggest this to some of you guys who like freshies or what have you. Exactly. You, you gotta have a little experience with some more full-bodied Middle Eastern type fragrances. I really, really enjoy it. It's just so... Yeah. It's a cloud. A beautiful cloud. It's not obnoxious. It's not synthetic smelling because, you know, it obviously is synthetic. It's not real oud. There'd be a lot more money if it was actually real oud. Of course. But um, I really do enjoy that one a lot. It has fruity aspects. It has fresh aspects. It has a floral aspect. And of course, the oud, which is not overpowering. You know, it's funny because whenever I recommend like entry level oud, I don't think this one is it per se. I think that the oud in this is definitely noticeable, but it kind of 
it's a stronger oud for those who aren't necessarily fans of oud, but you still want something that smells like oud. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah, it totally does. And so there are far more like tame ouds on the market. I know even like oud for greatness by Nishio is mm -hmm. one that you can pick up on the sweet aspects and the, you know, there's a lot more going on in addition to the oud. But I think in the case of this one, you still get enough of that oud, mm -hmm. but you have a nice balance of the fruity notes that kind of tame the oud down. I mean, there are some companies out there that have oud in their actual brand name that aren't oh, yeah. really very oody. Oh yeah, I know. Or at House least of oud, yeah. Yeah, it's sure. it's a different type of oud. It's kind of um, it's not the main player of the composition. It's more of a background note, and it doesn't always have to be. That's right. You're right. So I, I do love the use of oud in this one. Mm. Good job, Pierre. Nice. On well to done. Honey Oud. So Honey Aoud is one that I actually smelled years ago. And of course the name Honey gave it away and I said, <laughs> I have to smell this one. And Honey is a note that I've always been a fan of. Of course, there's a uh, Naomi Goodsir fragrance called uh, Bois d'Assis, if I'm oh, not mistaken. No, I'm sorry, Ordu Surreal. It's called Ordu Surreal. I like both of both those. Both of them are very <laughs> good. Uh, the first one that I mentioned is actually a little bit on the smoky side. The second one has a honey dominant um, olfactory profile and so there's that there's back to black there's also a um, Edward Best fragrance that has a lot of honey uh, La Femme Bohème I love the note of honey and, Flores oh Honey Aoud from Flores as well so that one is far more powdery than this one is and I think that that's the reason why I feel just a tad bit more comfortable wearing this one is that it doesn't have that powdery overtone but it also has enough of that oud and a little bit of cinnamon the cinnamon <sighs> really does it for this one this is leaning in but not totally getting totally wet in that pool yeah spice bomby it's got a it's got a may I yeah it's got a like a sweet spicy thing going on the honey is present and the whole composition just feels very warm. It's one of those fragrances that wears really warm on skin. Yeah, I think so too. I think if you can tolerate the smell of cinnamon, it's not an overly strong cinnamon to the effect that it's going to sting your nostrils. It's not all about the honey. It's not all about the oud. There's definitely a lot more ingredients that sort of define the character of the scent just it, it's an overall where very well blended and rounded composition i really enjoyed this one it feels warm and very is the word lush or plush it's 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 full body it's not simple right yeah it, it's yeah. one that could wear you if you overspray it has heft to it it has body it has substance for sure yeah and also keep in mind that both of these are very strongly concentrated. I think it sort of goes without saying that Montal has sort of acquired a reputation for being among the strongest perfumes on the market. And so, especially <laughs> in the case of like Red Aoud or even Black Aoud, if you spray those <laughs> on, they will last you for several days if you don't wash them off. And, and so they had the nerve to come out with a Black Aoud Intense. Seriously? Did they really? Yeah. It's not so intense. Why is that necessary? <laughs> <laughs> the, the original is the one that I love. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It, it's it's an obnoxious fragrance. It really is loud, and uh, you I have to imagine. be very, very <laughs> specific on how you spray that one on yourself. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. Even in the case of, like, Red Aoud, as much as I love it, if I do more than, like, two or three sprays, I hate it. <laughs> I did ten it's... once. <laughs> I no! did ten. I told this story uh, on my Red Aoud what? review. I It was the winter time. I was going to work. Ah, this is going to wear off. I put, like, ten sprays, approximately. I sat on the train, I had no, a seat, then a kidding. woman came, sat next to me, she said, <coughs> got up and left. I was like, that was definitely my fault. It was fault. one million percent you. <laughs> yeah. Totally. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wouldn't even dream of doing something like that. It's definitely on the same tier as like Interlude Man by Amouage <laughs> and some of these like super potent scents, maybe perhaps even some Zerzhal fragrances. And so I wouldn't recommend it. For the record, I'm typically not that guy. I don't like to overspray oh, because I know, I know. it's obnoxious. It's, uh, it's selfish to overspray. Like if you go into a restaurant, there are people like I have an online friend on Facebook, Had, who um, I went to camp with. Okay, sure. Um, one of my only fist fights in my life broke my oh. nose. The, the thing's still here. Oh wow! Anywho, that's where that's from. Yeah. So um, it was during Greece rehearsals in the cafeteria. Anyway, he um, grew up to be, and he hates fragrance. He hates fragrance. He hates people who overspray. He's attacked me on several posts throughout the years. I finally have said, okay, that's enough. 
But um, he uh, he's like said things to the effect of my r expensive dinner was ruined by this selfish, overspraying person. I was like, okay, I, maybe should, maybe you and I shouldn't be friends. Should probably dine yeah, in a yeah, different yeah. restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> but anywho, uh, wow. yeah. So. But these are fantastic Montal fragrances. Oud Mazing and Honey Aoud. I couldn't recommend them enough. Of course, I have a lot of favorites. I have Red Oud. Um, I also really, really enjoy Intense Cafe. The Ristretto Black Oud. variant is really oh, good. Black Oud I as love well. I that one so much. I really do. It has a little bit of bitterness in it, but I actually really enjoy it because the uh, rose note has been subsided. And so, anyways, thank you so much for sharing this with me, Carlos. My I pleasure. Really um, this was one of my most calm videos. I can attribute it to the alcohol. I'm going to attribute it to a CBD oil. Thank you. My first. Test. Okay. Yeah, yes. you're very welcome. <laughs> of course. Really good. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a pretty high strung guy. I got that whole Brooklyn Joe Pesci type of thing going on. I can get <laughs> Sopranos. overheated in a, in a second easily, but um, I feel so relaxed. That's awesome. <laughs> Cool. It's been a good day too, you know, seeing one of our really close friends get married and uh, partake in one of the happiest days of his life. So congratulations, Richard. We appreciate that. Much love, much love. And of course, we love you guys. We have a little giveaway for you guys, thanks to the generosity of Crystal at Crystal Fragrances. First off, there's a discount code if you use code BFLRED20MONT. I'll leave the full <laughs> code. Yeah, please do. Down below, you can get 20% off any Montal full-size fragrance, not valid on candles or discovery sets. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, one winner will get a $170 gift voucher that you can use for a full-size bottle of your choice. It doesn't have to be this. It could be whatever you want to choose. And all you have to do to enter is subscribe to BFL, subscribe to Red Lessons. <laughs> Thank you for that. Like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video today. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon to get miss notifications on the reviews of constant giveaways and all the fragrant fun always happening right here at BFL. You take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care, everyone.